agree with the uh, popping your child on the hand. I don't think that's that? abuse. Uh, I think um, for it to be abuse, I agree where some people say, you know, if you're taking your anger out on a child, it's definitely abusive. If you're getting frustrated and hitting them out of that frustration or if you're like projecting your own insecurities and hitting your child, it's definitely abusive. I think for some children, I, I was just listening to the study that you gave an example of and where you were saying, I, I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was something like 13 out of 17 kids had negative reactions to it. No, it's not 13 out of 17 kids. Um, it's there are there are a list of particular child outcomes and 13 out of 17 of those child of those child outcomes were found in these children. It was way more than 13 or 17 kids. Oh, yeah, I was saying, yeah, just, you know, reusing the numbers that you gave, because I definitely hear what you're saying and the facts. I do think some parents definitely go overboard and, you know, beat their kids and hit them to cause harm. Um, from my own experience as a mother, I pop my child on the hand and yeah, it's not with the so intent to cause it, harm. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. I am confused. What, what is the definition of harm? Because I don't know what the, I, I'm, I don't get why people keep saying this. What is, what, what does harm mean? What does it mean to cause harm? Honestly, I can't give you the exact textbook definition without going to Google, but. Okay. So, okay. So can, so, so does one's intentions to not cause harm trump the fact that they cause harm no okay, i mean if you're causing harm so yeah. i don't want to i don't want to hear your intentions of why you spanked a child if you yourself understand that if it ends in harm then it doesn't matter what your intentions were well i think if you know it's going to cause harm then that's intentional it doesn't matter you just said that one's intent does not trump harm but if you knowingly cause harm, I, I yeah. But you, you just said, that. you said this, right? So if I go up and smack you upside the head, but I did not intend to harm you, does that take away from the fact that you were harmed? I mean, you know, that's, you know, that it's causing harm. No, I, no, I didn't though. Right. So if I did that to you and it caused harm, does it take away the fact that it harmed you? I mean, of course not, but I think okay. I then, think and that applies to parents. That if you pop somebody in the head, then that's causing harm. What What is the logical distinction here? Well, um, can I can I just finish my little explanation? <laughs> no, because you're gonna you're gonna need to. You're not your your argument is going to fail if you don't finish this line of questioning. So what is so what is the logical distinction here? Because either you're gonna go on and you're gonna sound like a complete sociopath. Or you're gonna need to answer these questions. I don't. Know. Either, either way, it's not gonna help you because you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna sound like you don't have empathy. I definitely would disagree when you say I don't have empathy. I didn't say that you don't have empathy. I said your, your argument is going to make it sound like you don't have empathy. Well, I think, like I said, if I'm popping my child on the hand, it's not to hurt them. I'm not leaving no red mark. It's is abuse only abuse when you leave marks? No, of course not. Okay, so that's not right. That's not relevant. But I could tell you it doesn't hurt. You don't know that. I'm making sure it doesn't hurt. My you don't you don't know that. <laughs> Are you in your child's body? I mean, obviously not. Then you would not know. All right. I don't okay. know how to answer that one, honestly. But I do think uh I do think there is a fine line between popping somebody and what does it mean to what does it mean to pop someone? Like I just said, popping your child on the hand. Some people what is, definitely what is, you can is, you can abuse somebody by popping them on the hand. If you're honey, full, honey, what is that? Somebody. What does that mean? I'm not asking you all that. I'm what asking, popping what somebody is, on the hand? What does pop mean? What does that mean? Slap their hand. Spank their hand. Right. So you're spanking their hand. Yeah. Right. And so, what's the definition of abuse? Intentionally being violent, causing harm. Intentionally being violent and causing harm yeah right so what's the definition of violence i don't know the textbook definition i know that's the one you want to hear i'm asking i'm at, i'm not i didn't ask for the textbook definition i'm asking for the definition as you're using it definition of violence mm -hmm. causing physical harm right so what's the definition of physical harm <laughs> hitting somebody I 
So you just say, so you just stated here that you're you're committing violence towards your child. No. And if you just said that violence is abuse, then what then, then what you just did by your definition is abusing your child.